Good morning. Good morning. My name is Tisha. What is your full name? My full name is Sayyida Farha Ahmed. What should I call you? You can call me by Farha. Okay, Farha, can I see your ID? Yes. Here it is. Now in this first part, I would like to ask you some questions about yourself. So let's talk about shopping. When you go shopping, do you prefer to pay for things in cash or by card? I would say when I go to shopping, I prefer to pay by card. It gives me more security without having any inconvenience of carrying around cash. As I have a credit card, I can just buy things now and pay for them over a long period of time. Besides, I get more rewards and discount if I just swipe my card to make a purchase. Whereas, in terms of cash and all these loose changes, it makes me more disorganized. And if somebody steals my pass, I cannot get my cash back. But in terms of card, it's a different story. Do you ever save money to buy special things? Yes, I do. If I want to buy something special, which is a bit expensive, that I cannot afford, I have two options whether borrow money from someone or save up for it. I prefer to save up money for the things that I want to buy. For example, last year I bought a car, which I always wanted. It took me around four years to save up that money, but I think it's worth it. Would you ever take a job which at low pay? Yes, I would if the job that I've been offered is a job that I love and it falls within my field of interest. I would do it. I would not mind doing it if I enjoy. For me, it's not always about the money. Which matters to me more is if I like it. Because if you are passionate about something, you can do it as long as you want to, without feeling stressed or demotivated. That's why I would do a low paying job, if I like it. Would winning a lot of money make a big difference to your life? Yes, obviously. Winning a lot of money will make a big difference in my life. I believe it will allow me more flexibility to choose how I want to spend my life and my life will be a little more at ease. I will pursue all my passion and buy myself a new home. Even I think I will go for a world trip and hire somebody for all the mundane tasks. Life will be a lot more different than it is now. Thank you. I'm going to give you a topic and I would like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. I would like you to describe any interesting discussions you had as a part of your work or studies. Okay? So don't worry if I stop you. So can you start speaking please? I remember two years back, I had an interesting discussion with my best friend Kubaib. I was struggling to continue my full-time study at the university. So I was planning to take up an online course instead, as I believed this would leave me enough time to find a new job and solve my financial problems that I was having that time. Still, inside me I was struggling a bit to make up my mind for that. I had a big doubt in my mind whether it will be a good decision or not. That's why I was having the discussion with my friend in the first place. Mainly 
we discuss about the pros and cons of the online course. My opinion about the online course was that it is more flexible as it would allow me to take lectures at my convenience as many times as I want, plus it would reduce travel time and travel cost. Then he pointed out that I might feel isolated and less motivated at times while taking the online course so I might fall behind. And you know, once you fall behind in such type of courses, it gets really difficult to get back on track. Besides, he suggested some employers don't accept online degrees, so I should reconsider my decision. It was really an interesting discussion. Through it put forward many ideas, yet ended up in the favor of the online course. So I decided to go for it. Now still I recall, it was a good decision, it cleared up my doubts and confusion, it kind of gave me a sense of confidence to take up my preferred option and I am really glad that I did. Thank you. Can I have the booklet, the pencil and the paper bag please? Yes, of course. We have been talking about an interesting discussions you had as a part of your work or studies. Now I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Why is it good to discuss problems with other people? Discussing problems with other people helps you to clarify the things that are worrying you inside. Even the people who you have shared the problem with may end up suggesting you some useful solutions. Also, t sometimes explaining what's going on inside your head helps you to reduce the stress and makes the situation less scary. It also takes the pressure off you. I recall that emotional support can make all the difference. So these are the reasons why it is good to discuss the problem with others. Is it always a good idea to tell lots of people about a problem? No, I don't think so. It's not a good idea. I think it's always wise to share your problems with only those who are very close to you and understand you really well. Otherwise, some people may misguide you or try to take advantage of your situation. Moreover, if you share the problem with somebody who hasn't been through this similar situation, may end up giving you discouragement. So you should be very careful when you're discussing about a problem. Why do some individuals post highly negative comments about other people on social media? Nowadays, many people often post negative comments on social media to criticize others or make fun of them in order to feel better about themselves. Even some jealous people wait for the chance to make negative comments about the people who they are jealous of in front of others. This type of people usually post highly negative comments on social media. Moreover, those people who easily get frustrated and offended post highly negative comments about others in order to take their frustration out on them. What are the ways that social media can be used for positive purposes? There are many ways in which social media can be used for positive purposes. For example, sharing positive experiences through social media can encourage others to do a lot more good things. Similarly, social media can also be used for various noble causes like social awareness, activities and promotions. Besides, social media can also provide access to educational opportunities. Thank you. That's the end of the test.